What's up deckers welcome to another Steam Deck guide video in today's video I'm going to be showcasing how to get frame generation running on the Steam Deck now I have a disclaimer this does not work for every single game and also this only works with DLSS but yeah this works really well as you can see here this is Hogwarts Legacy running at 60 frames per second so if you guys were interested in seeing how to get this done hit the like button subscribe to the channel let's get right into this video all right, so to get started, you're going to need to go to desktop mode. Then you're going to need to open up a browser. Like you're seeing here, we have five parts. Then you're going to want to search for Decky Loader. And once you do so, you go to the website. You should be able to download Decky Loader, as you've seen right here. So once you're done, you should be able to open up File Explorer, as you see right here. So go to Home, go to Download. And by doing so, you'll see Decky Loader right here. Next, you just want to execute, as you've seen right here. So execute it, and it's going to run some props it's going to ask you for a password and then by doing so it should also let you download the beta so once you do that you should be good to go so next because this is the deck loader plugin beta you're going to need to bring uh, the frame gem plugin to deck loader so here i'll post the link in the description to where you guys can find the frame gem beta but you're going to come here you're going to click download and it should be in the file explorer download but this part is really important as well so next you want to go to home right here and go to the home brew folder and then go to properties and then go to permission now by doing so you have to put can view and modify content for all these three and also hit the check box at the bottom and hit OK. By doing this now, it allows you to drag and drop the plugin into the folder. So go to Homebrew, go to plugin here, and here's where you want to download the frame gen beta plugin. So as you can see here, you want to open it right here and then you just want to drag and drop it to the plugins folder here in the homebrew so again it won't let you do that unless you allow permission so make sure that you allow the permission but that's all you need to do there to get this one going so once you do so now you just want to exit everything out and then go back to the game mode and you should be good to go with decky loader plugin and you should be able to run this one so if you did everything right, if you go back to the game mode and hit the Decky Loader plugin, you should see the Decky Frame Gen plugin right here. Next, you're going to need to install it. As you can see here, I installed it and it says mod install. So after you do this, it says game patch at the bottom. What you want to do is just exit this out. You want to open up the game that you want to use. So Hogwarts Legacy, like you're seeing right here, we're going to hit play and then hit right. And then you want to hit the game patch and hit patch. So once you do so, it patches the game and then you should be good to go. So here we go. We're going to go to settings and I just want to showcase what this one looks like right now. So you'll see here, this is NVIDIA DLSS and it has frame gen, which you can turn on and off. But I will showcase this running with frame gen, running without frame gen, and also comparing it to FSR and showcasing the difference when it comes to how many frame rate that you do get with each. So let's get right into that. So here we're going to turn everything off. As you can see here, this is FSR 2. We're going to turn this one off. We're going to go to none and we're going to hit apply. And let's go back and let's take a look at what this looks like graphically. And let's take a look at the frame rate. So as you can see here, we're getting high 20s, middle 30s, again, 35, 36, 37. And it looks good, right? Uh, but you can see low frame rate here. Uh, we're getting the 30s. This is, again, with FSR off. So we're just going to pause real quick. We're going to go to settings. And we're going to try to turn fsr2 on and see if it makes a difference again i have everything here at low graphical settings as well but here we go we're gonna go to fsr2 and we're gonna hit apply and you guys will see this is fsr quality as well so let's take a look at the fps count now you'll see it go up higher again we're getting 40s even hit 50s at 1.45 so again pretty decent uh, FPS with FSR2, 
But again, nothing compared to what we'll get here with the LSS from Jinan. But again, this one looks really good with FSR2. You can see not a lot of ghosting going on, but let's check out now FSR3. So we'll go to settings, same thing again. We'll go to the graphics and let's now switch it from FSR2. We'll hit NVIDIA DLSS like you see right here. And the key thing here is turning frame gen on. So we'll turn that on. And now take a look at the FPS count that you'll get with this. So instantly you see it go to the high 50s and now it's 60s. And you'll see it pretty stay consistently here at 60 FPS. Now, not only is it 60 if you walk in, it's also 60 FPS when you're flying on your broomstick, which we'll get into here in a bit. But yeah, fellas, this works and this works really well. I do have to say there's some games that I have tried that didn't work. And again, this is still in beta. So Star Wars uh, Jedi Survivor is a game that I was trying to get this to work on and it didn't work. So I'm going to keep trying other games too. And I'm sure when this one gets out of beta, it's going to work well and better with other games but i find this to be absolutely incredible the fps increase that you get is amazing and as you can see here there's no ghost in and this one holds pretty consistently at 60 fps even when you're riding a broom and going really fast but yeah i'm really enjoying this one let me know in the comments below are you guys going to try this or have you guys tried this previously appreciate you guys we'll catch you guys in the next one until next time Peace out.